Hello everybody and welcome to episode 7 of Pokemon Adventure Red Chapter. In the last episode we took down Misty and in this episode we are going to head to the north and visit Bill, I believe. And so here is Cerulean, if you guys forgot. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded, so this game in particular. So here is a Rattata. Thank goodness, a human. And I was just starting to think that nobody would ever come. A Pokemon that can talk? What's the matter? Something scared you? I might look look like a mutated Rattata, but I'm an expert on Pokemon. The name is Bill, and this... And a Fero is going to come and swoop down and take Bill. So we're going to have to save him. And... Yeah, so... Kind of in line with the game, you know, he is experimenting becoming different Pokemon and it usually doesn't work out and he has to be saved so we're going to be the ones to save him and there are going to be a few battles like always on this route and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find him before the Furo eats him so yep and this is another this is a side story that the creator decided to make this lake so mysterious and dark it has to contain a passage. I'll find out the truth over your disappearance, dear friend. Yeah, so, it's, he calls it the Lake Monster Arc, and in the end, you get a special Pokemon if you complete it. I don't know if I will or not. I think you kind of have to go out of your way to do it. So, if I can remember to do it, then I will. If you guys want me to show it off or anything, then I definitely will. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. But, you know, I, I like sticking with the manga, but I don't mind if the creator wants to put in his own little flair on the storyline. So, for, I guess there's going to be a lot of double battles here, so they won't be too challenging. At least I hope not. And I guess you could come here before you go to Misty's gym, but I think the storyline goes that you take on Misty first. And so, yeah, there you go. And, yeah, so it's freezing where I am. I'm in New Jersey. Yeah, it's really cold up here, so just trying to stay inside most of the time right now and just stay warm. I have a jacket on and everything wrapped up with a blanket, too. So, yeah, hopefully I don't get too much of a cold. I have a cough, but I think it's just a dry cough. And so the Firo's up here and save me. Okay, I'll knock that Fero out with a Thunder-type Pokemon. What? No, that Fero is holding on to me. I'm going to get zapped too. Oh man, what do you want me to do then? Go to my seaside cottage just east from here, find bird feed, and come back. Alright, so we have to do this little event and feed the Spiro. I don't know how Red actually saves Bill. It might be this way. I, I can't really remember, but I do remember that the Fira almost ate him, but other than that, I don't really remember anything, so. We have the bird feed, and we're gonna run back as fast as we can, and hopefully the bird feed trick will do the job. There we go. Alright, it's working. Okay, attack it now. Okay, so yeah. I guess he just gets it separated, and then he takes it on with Pikachu, and there we go, so. Pretty easy. Not too hard of an event. Can you please come to it back to my seaside cottage? Okay. So, yeah. Bill is actually a kind of a major character in the manga, compared to the games at least, where he's just kind of not important. In the manga, he's actually around in many, many different chapters. So, there you go. And he's not as useless as he seems in the game where he could actually battle if he wanted to and so we're gonna transport him and now he's okay what a day couldn't have done it without your help thanks kid so what is that it's called a Pokemon transporter it's not finished yet I still have a couple big bugs to fix anyway like I said before the name's Bill and I'm Dave I'm on a mission to become the greatest Pokemon trainer ever I'll tell you what kid I'm gonna help you I'm not called an expert for nothing huh I'm going to upgrade your Pokemon Pokedex into the National Pokedex. Alright, cool. So, we're going to have National Pokedex now. I don't think it'll really matter much, in this game at least, but it's nice to have, I guess. Oh, and I guess we're moving. I didn't realize that. I thought he was upgrading our Pokedex. So, I guess we are going to go 
head south. Oh, there's a kid there. All right, uh, we're gonna head south of the of Cerulean, and hopefully we can get to Vermilion in this episode. I think we can. We haven't been recording for that long, and we'll just super speed through this. And yep, so hopefully we get to Vermilion, and then we get definitely into more story with Team Rocket and everything, so that should be exciting. Definitely want to progress the story, and there is a lot of storyline in this game. It's not completely finished, but I'm expecting it to be con completely finished very soon, so I don't think we should go west or east. Geez, I'm bad with cardinal directions. And we're on Route 5 now. I think this is where we're supposed to go, and I'll be on the lookout for cool Pokemon, but I'll probably just stick with Red's team unless I see something awesome, so we have to go up here, and that Pokeball I guess you can only get through Surf, and you get a deep sea scale, so I guess if you find a, um, not a Corsola, what's it called? A Clam Pearl, then you could evolve it I guess, so here is some guy that is pretty cool, I think we're gonna actually have a little story with him, so yep, and Geodude, easy to take down. And I think he's he uh, battled all of the kids of Pallet Town. Yeah. So he battled Steve first and better find a place for resting Charmeleon. I can't let you through, kid. Vermilion City is too dangerous. Out of my way. Sorry, kid, but Pokemon have been stolen in Vermilion City. I can't just let you through. Alright, so. Yeah, this psyker knows all about the great trainers of Vermilion and Pallet Town. So, Green is also going to be in this little story. I need to get out of this heavy storm, but War Turtle does like the rain, so there you go. Last time I remember, you don't like electric type moves. Alright, so she's probably strong enough to get through as well. And she doesn't like being talked down to, and I guess we haven't really met her yet. Uh, as red, but I think we will be in Vermilion City, so that's interesting. And so here we are. I think we might have a few trainers, and we'll probably stop it once we get to into Vermilion. And Pikachu's doing some good work. I'll switch out actually. And there we go. So I'll put an Ivysaur, and hopefully, while well, we don't face the bug catchers, he can do some good work. And, yeah, I realized there's no physical special split, because that was doing nothing to Abra. And, we can take down Radita. There we go. So, we just need to work on Poliwhirl now, but I will... Oh, I'll switch out for after the battle. And, yeah, I didn't realize that all of the Pikachus get Volt Tackle. I thought it was just ours but there you go and it's doing quite a number on us so hopefully we'll be able to defeat it there we go alright and there we go so we have Poliwhirl up front and yeah we're pretty even in levels which is good and all of my Pokemon are pretty you know useful team members so far so that's good to see and we don't want double slap both of our Pokemon are paralyzed, or two of our Pokemon are paralyzed, so I'll just use Pikachu for the last two trainers. And okay, so we have a double battle here. And there we go. And oh, she has a lot of Pidgeys actually, so there you go. And I'll use Thundershock on that, and there. There we go. So not too hard, actually we just went down, so just as I was saying, not too hard. It is pretty hard, but... It really isn't that bad, so... The leveling might get a little harder, like against gym leaders and stuff, but against regular trainers really shouldn't be much of an issue. And... Raticate's kind of difficult, but... It'll go down as well. And... We're in Vermilion. And that sounds like a ship. Cool. Okay, so... Yeah, we are attracted to ships, I guess, and I guess I'll explore a little bit before the end of the episode, but I won't go on to BSSN or anything. And there's Mrs. Ketchum again. And 
we'll see what everyone has to say in the buildings. And uh, Steve's saying something about joining X Factor. I don't watch that show, but I don't know. I, I was never into American Idol or that, so yeah, I don't know. It's just not something I don't want to see people make fools of themselves, really. But um, we're not getting a fishing rod from him, I guess. And we'll enter here. And she doesn't have anything to say. And I don't think you're supposed to go in here in the fan club until after the event on the ship. So we'll save that for the next episode. I don't think there are any more houses to explore. So in the next episode, we will explore everything Vermilion has to offer. And I'll crush you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.